All right, so today we are doing ratios of areas. If you need somewhere to follow in your book or you need someone to refer to, this is up chapter 11.7. All right, so let's get into some objectives. First, you will be able to find the ratios of areas by calculating and comparing the areas. And you will find the ratios of areas by applying properties of similar figures, which we've done before. Um, so later in the video, I'll tell you where to refer to if you're having any kind of problems with that. Let's start with computing the areas. All right, so you can determine the ratio of areas of two figures uh, by calculating the quotient or just setting it up as a fraction is what that means. Just remember, quotient means division. So anytime you hear that, it's going to mean you're setting it up as a fraction. So let's say we had to find the area or the ratio of the area of this figure here, and we wanted triangle ABD, which is, where is it? ABD to that of CBD. Okay, so AB is 6 and BC is 3. All right, so first thing you're going to do is set it up. Now, there is a correspondence here. So it says you're finding the ratio of the area of this one. So that's going to go first to this one. So that's going to go on the bottom will be the denominator of the fraction, so to speak. All right, so to find the area of triangles, we know that it's half the base times the height. So half the base of triangle ABD times half the um, times the height over half the base of triangle CBD times the height. Now, with triangles, when they happen to be in the same figure here like this, you'll notice that they share the same height. So that means that if the height's the same, these two are going to cancel out. Also notice they both have one half. Those cancel out as well, leaving you with the base of ABD and the base of CBD. Everything else is gone. Okay, so the base of ABD is 6. The base of CBD is 3. We can reduce that to 2 over 1. However, I know that some of you may say, well, can I just put 2? No, I want you to leave as a fraction, please. Okay. Not that it's necessarily wrong, but for a ratio, you want to leave it as a fraction, even if it means you're putting it over 1. All right, now let's uh, compare the ratios of similar figures. Okay, so now if two triangles are similar, the ratio of any pair of their corresponding altitudes, medians, angle, bisectors, um, is the same as the ratio of their corresponding sides. It's identical because they're all corresponding parts. All right, so if you need a refresher on any, any of this, go back to the videos from Chapter 8 and just kind of breeze through them until you get what you need out of it. So let's start with a problem. Given that triangle PQR is similar to triangle WXY, find the ratio of the areas. Now we're given that WX is four and PQ is six. So we're gonna, we know that the ratio of their sides is six to four, which reduces to three over two. So let's go ahead and find their areas. Well, the ratio of the areas are the same. Okay, and the formulas are again, half the base of one times the height of one, and then half the base of the other times the height of the other. Okay, again, the two halves will cancel out, but you can't cancel out the heights because this height is going to be different than this height. Okay, they're similar, they're not congruent. Okay, so, but they do follow this particular ratio. Remember, all the parts follow that ratio as long as they're corresponding. So the base of one and the base of the other have the ratio of three to two. The height of one and the height of the other also have the ratio of three to two. So what we're going to do, if they have the same ratio, we're going to do three over two times three over two, which equals nine over four. And you'll notice that the ratio of their sides and their corresponding parts um, to find the area is basically you square that ratio. So if I wrote it as, uh, let's see, 3 over 2 squared, because we know the area you find by squaring things, right? The answers are usually in like square units. Okay, so that's where that comes in. That would give me the same answer. And it doesn't work for just triangles. It works for all types of similar polygons, any kind of similar shape. So again, something to keep in mind. Okay, and that takes us to this, theorem 109. If two figures are similar, then the ratio of their areas equals the square 
of the ratio of their corresponding segments. And this is called the similar figures theorem. So the area of one over the area of two is equal to, uh, and S just doesn't, doesn't necessarily just mean side. It could mean any corresponding part or segment. Um, segment one over segment two squared, where A1 and A2 are areas of, and S1 and S2 are the measures of the corresponding segments. All right, let's look at another example. Okay, so the area of triangle ABC is two thirds the area of triangle ABD. We know that BH is 12, and we know that CD is 16. Find the length of AC, so we need to find the length of this piece here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna set the area of ABC over the area of triangle ABD, okay? And again, it's half the base of uh, the one times the height, half the base of the other times the height. And since they're included in the same triangle, they're going to share that height. So, oh, and I don't know why I put that as 10. That should be 12. My bad. All right. So when we set this up, we know that the area of one is two thirds the other. So that's our ratio, right? And we have the halves that are going to cancel out. We have the twelves that are going to cancel out, which is going to leave us with two thirds equals x over x plus sixteen, because this piece here is x, which is what we're trying to find, and the ratio of ABD, so that's x plus this sixteen. So now we have cross products here. So we're going to do two times this part here and then three times x and set them equal to each other. So that's going to give you 2x plus 32, which is this 2 times x, which is a 2x, 2 times 16, which is 32. So 2x plus 32 equals 3 times x, which is just 3x. If we subtract 2x from both sides so we get our x's by themselves, you're going to get x equals 32. So ac is 32. Now, again, be careful. Make sure you know what they're asking. If I had asked for the length of AD, you would have had one more step, and that would have been to add 32 plus 16. So be careful, very careful, about reading the problem. Next example. Uh, PQRS is a kite. We know that QT is 5, okay? And we know that TS is 12. So we need to find the ratio of the area of triangle QTP to TRS. Okay, and since this is a kite, that means that this and this are congruent, and this and this are congruent. So even though they're asking for this triangle and this triangle, it's, this, it's okay. It doesn't matter. So let's start with triangle, and I don't know why I put ABD. Okay, area of triangle QTP to TRS, which is, again, half the base times the height of each one. Now, they don't have the same height, okay? Triangle QTP has a height of 5, okay? Triangle TRS has a height of 12. However, the two halves cancel out. And also, remember with a kite, this piece has congruent it splits this segment, this diagonal, into two congruent parts. Is it bise It bisects the angle, and it's the median of this, or the, it goes to the midpoint. So we can cancel out the bases too, which is just going to leave us with 5 over 12. Okay, no squaring or anything else needed because it's unnecessary. All right, so. Last section of Unit 10 will be next, uh, just a couple of uh, formulas that we're going to be working with extensively. And if you have any questions, please, please ask in class. I know this uh, might seem easy initially, but it will be easy to make mistakes if you're not careful. So be very meticulous with your calculations and your reading of the questions. All right, have a good night.